Pamela here and I'm at a friend's house in Minneapolis. He just bought the Vitamix Personal Blender S30 and I thought I'd give you a couple pros and cons uh, before you buy something like this so that you can decide if this is the one that's right for you. So a couple pros about this. One thing I like is that it's really small. He's a single guy so he doesn't like a really huge blender on his counter. You can really easily slide it underneath the counter and I think it's very ergonomically designed very well. You can just pull it out and it's small but yet it's very powerful so that's cool. Um, you have this personal blender which is double insulated so it's going to keep your cool things cool and it, it won't sweat if you've got ice in there and stuff like that. But the bad thing about this is if you make smoothies with a lot of leafy greens when you put them in there it's going to be so much you end up with a drink that's about 10 ounces out of a 20 ounce jar because when you put this on you really well you can't use the tamper like you can in this one so you have a tamper in the bigger size one and if you've got all kinds of leafy greens you can just push them down in there and then end up with more smoothie that you can actually drink so that's cool. Um, and so once you put this in, if you have to um, mix them around at all, you're going to have to take it apart and mix it by hand. But the cool thing about that is that it's all totally secure, so you're not going to get the oxidation when you put the fruits and vegetables in. It's not going to get all that added oxygen from the vent that's coming in with the other one. So let me go ahead and make a smoothie here for you. I think this jar would be really good for uh, making salad dressings and then you just keep them in the fridge. It's got a secure top. If you had kids around or whatever, it's on the table. You're not going to spill it. Right? Put in some strawberries. All organic, delicious looking strawberries. And then I'm going to put in some frozen bananas. We'll see how this goes. See, to me, this is already pretty full. Like, I, I like to eat a big smoothie, and that seems pretty full already. Okay, and then we're going to put in some arugula. Jeez, this really doesn't hold a lot. Okay, we're going to put in some arugula. And that's just a very small amount of arugula. And we're going to put in some sprouts. And some Love Superfood. I like this. It's a Purium product. And now I'm going to put in some of the liquid. And in this case, I'm using almond milk. And you see it's just opposite. It's going to drain to the bottom. So we put the base of the blender on securely and then we flip it over and we put it on the blender base and then you start really small or really slow okay so you see how full that was that was really full and we are going to open it up and see, well actually it's not too bad, it's about up to here. So this is a 20 ounce jar, you get you know, a good 16 ounces of smoothie to work with. One thing my friend really likes about this S30 Personal Blender is the way it cleans up. You just take the bottom off, the base that actually fits on both of these containers, and when you take it off, um, you can just run it under the faucet and clean it up that way, which is pretty simple compared to the Vitamix, the regular one, and my Blendtec where the blades are still in there and you have to clean it like that. Hasn't been a real big deal for me, but that makes sense. You know, another thing is that, you know, I focus on smoothies because I just make a lot of them, but in this personal blending book that comes with it, uh, they give you a lot of different ideas that you might not have thought about before, like making... Uh, baby food for one, you know, making hummus and other pâtés like that, dry chopping vegetables and then using it for wet chopping, uh, grinding up flour and peanut butter and um, flax meal, you know, if you want to grind up your own flax meal, making batters for pancakes and things like that. So there really are quite a few things that you can do with this uh, Vitamix. So there you have it. Those are a few pros and cons. This is a 750 watt 
um, motor, I believe, and all the parts are really excellent quality. Yeah, I have the Blend Tech right now, and I've had a Vitamix in the past. I love the Vitamix. I love my Blend Tech, and I'm single, and I would still prefer to get a slightly bigger one. I've got the designer model with the base, still slides. It's very um, beautiful to look at on my counter. So. I don't know, I guess if you're going to be using a lot of salad dressings, if you really like this to-go idea where you just pop it on and you take it, it, it might be a really good one for you. Vitamix is really cool. I mean, they have a guarantee. If you get this and you experiment with it for a while, like it for any reason, you can always send it back. And sometimes you really don't know until you just have it in your hands, you know? Like you can watch videos like this, very helpful to see some of the pros and cons. But there are times you just don't know until you get it in your house how it's going to work for you. And then also, I know some of the cheaper models you can get and they'll work fine for a while. But, you know, I had my last Vitamix for about 15 years and it worked fine for so long. And the quality is so great that I ended up using it every day because it was just a pleasure to work with. So I think at, you know, the extra money that you're going to pay for a high speed quality blender is definitely worth it because, you know, seriously, health, it's number one. What are you going to do? Yeah. A few extra hundred bucks in the bank because I saved money on this. But if you're going to get something where you use it every day, you love it and you make sure that you really love it and you're getting in all the antioxidants and all the fruits and vegetables that we know are so good for us then why not just splurge, pay the extra money, get a really good quality one, whether you get the S30 Vitamix for personal use or you get a little bit bigger one, um, as long as it's good quality and you feel good when you're using it, like if it really feels good to you, then you know you made the best decision. So if you have any questions at all, just shoot me an email, I'll put the link down below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.